first, Atlanta lighting up blue tonight in support of workers on the front line of the coronavirus pandemic. This is a live look at Mercedes-Benz Stadium and Truist Park, two of more than 150 venues nationwide that are illuminated in blue tonight. That's for CBS 46 News at 9. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. Quite a tribute. Nice to see another large leap in coronavirus cases here in Georgia tonight. We've got to tell you about this first. The health department now reporting 10,885 positive patients. That's up almost 700 cases since just last night. Tonight, 412 people have died from COVID-19 in the state of Georgia. Right now, more than 16,000 people have died from coronavirus nationwide, and new projections reveal the number of Americans killed by the virus could be lower than anticipated. University of Washington researchers are now estimating more than 60,000 people will die. The White House originally estimated the death toll somewhere between 100 and 240,000. New tonight, Vice President Mike Pence telling Americans stimulus checks are on the way. We assure every American that we remain on the timetable where the first payments in direct deposits will go out by the end of next week. For the average family of four, that'll be $3,400 in direct uh, financial support and will no doubt uh, be welcome news. Individuals can expect $1,200, double for couples, and $500 per child.